we will see our fourth part. This part, I can create top.html, insert the logo. And I want to introduce frame. How we can conclude this one. So now I will go and create one more page. Page, new page. I will give. What is the name is given? Top.html. So I can give top. Save as top. This called board. This page. What they said? They said insert here. You can see. Create a new page and insert the logo dot logo. So what I will do? Insert. Go insert. Picture. From file. Logo dot logo. Insert. Now I can see. Picture is very big. So reduce the size of the picture. How so do you do that? Now we can reduce. I can reduce picture size. Now we are going free. Before going free, what they said is index.html frame. Key. First we have a look up the frame. How the frame design? This is top, this is middle, this is bottom. Three frames are there. So we can see the different frame design. Now I will go. I'll create a file new page. Here, generally, what we do general HTML we do now frame selection go frame page. Here, what this is the only difference frame page we can now. I will see there is a different type of frame banner and content means top one thing, left one thing, and here main page. This is called main window, this is called main frame. You see here the frame at the top. With the content and the main frame, they create the banner, hyperlink the banner, change the content frame. Content one and two. Here you see left is the containing and change the main frame. Footer. So you can see footer here and main frame here. Footnotes. There is two different ways. Header. This way. What is our design? Our design go and see one by one. This is our top. You see a top down information hierarchy. This type only we are selecting the frame because that is our design. Don't see this is our design. So that's why we are selecting that design. So we select this design. You okay. This way we come. What is the name of the form it is given? The name of the frame, sorry, not form, frame. Name of the frame, what they given? Index. So save index dot index. Not dot html, index. So now we see. Whenever we do set initial page, you go to set initial page. What is initial page? First one is coming, the three frame is coming. First one is top. This is chocolate gallery, whatever it may link HTML, this is feedback. So go here, set initial page, click. Set initial page, top. Where is top? Top, top, HTML. If you open, if you, open you can see here. We can re-add this, no problem here, yeah? re this. Next one is what? The link.html. This information should come there. So link.html. I go here, index, click this one, link.html. Okay. Both the things are correct. Now what? Set this one and give what? Feedback.html. All things. So now I see. Don't go new page. This is the one. Now what is the thing is, whenever I click it here, it will come down. Now I will run and show. This is new page. What is the advantage of the frame? The frame is, within a single application, the end user doesn't know how many pages we created. We can switch it off. Drop in between the two different web pages. That is the advantage. So if I click here, it will appear. The chocolate gallery page should appear in the bottom. That is what our idea is. So, what we do is now I will go here. I want a link. I don't want to create a hyperlink. Right click it, go to hyperlink. Hyperlink chocolate gallery. Here go chocolate gallery.html. Where is chocolate gallery.html? Here I can go chocolate gallery. I'll go make target frame. Can you see anything here? You can't. 
point is if the page is open, it never show the current frame page. It appear as none. So what we want to do is can first to close all the things. That is a very important one. Whenever you are creating frame, no other with page better close it. Save and close it. Save and close it. Save and close it. Save and close it. Only frame page should be. Now again I will do. Let's go here. Right click it. I link. You go for chocolate gallery. Select HTML. Go target frame. This is very important. Target frame. Go here. Now can you see? So where I want to appear, if I click it, it should come here. So select this name. This is my project name. Whenever I select this information, it will come in the bottom. Target setting is bottom. I'll give up. I'll give up. So here in the same manner, here I'll give feedback. So here, hyperlink, feedback of HTML, I'll give it target frame. Now I will run. Can you see? It's very easy. Frame is very easy. So this method we can use the frame here. In the same manner, we can do other things. What is the other one? Instead of text here, link.html, can I use interactive buttons also? Inserting interactive button also there that we will see in the next video. So here we know how to create the frame file new page frame. Now I want to select the frame page. This is what we learned.